Hey, my name is Michael. I'm going to do a short tutorial on uh, rendering fur using XGen uh, with RenderMan 20 in Maya 2016. Um, a lot of people online I see have been having problems with this, just like me. Um, I spent about five hours on Wednesday night trying to figure this one out and got super frustrated and I kind of want to pay it forward a little bit and stop that from happening for uh, to any, anyone else. So. This is going to be a real quick tutorial on how to get it done. So what the main problem I think with it is RenderMan has issues with pathfinding. If you create a f uh, if you create your project in somewhere, well, basically anywhere that's not the desktop so far. I'm sure that you could probably put in your C drives just um, in the root directory directory mainly, or maybe. Um, most of my my files are in my documents file and it doesn't seem to work from there so I'm not sure exactly why that is uh, but for now if you just want to get something done this is a quick way to get started so um, I'm just going to show you exactly um, how I do it so we're going to do fur test one because this is the second time um, oops yeah second time I've done this why is that not worked where are we doing New fur test one, yep. Uh, da, da, da. And we want to create a new folder here called fur test. That's fine. Select, accept. Um, I'm just going to save the scene. Fur test one, fur test. All right. So now you've got your scene. Uh, we need a mesh. So I'm going to import one so you can see that it works on anything, not just your basic primitives. Uh, so I've got one on my desktop. That I did previously make them a bit bigger actually I'm going to center that pivot first and then make them a bit bigger there we go smooth them by pressing three okay so you've got your guy I'm just going to give him a basic um, Pixar Disney texture um, and then we're good to go uh, actually I'm just going to put a, an environment light on as well so you can see them when I render them. So right now, if we use Renderman, um, you can see he just renders like a normal dude. So that's fine, stop that. Uh, so let's get XGen going. Um, if you've clicked effects on the drop down, you can find it on your top bar, but I normally just use this guy here. If you click this button here, or bring it up on the right. We will click create new description, uh, we'll select our mesh and then we'll click create new description. The, descrip the description is going to be fur test one um, and the collection is going to be fur test. Um, and we're going to click groomable splines because we're going to make this guy furry and then we're going to click create. So straight off the bat you can see that you've got the yellow guides and then you've got the weird little square uh, mesh thing in my bobs uh, so refresh that so to quickly just get you started just to prove that it's working um, first thing you want to do is go to renderer and the preview output select render man um, sometimes this can be a bit dodgy uh, for this next part if you're having problems doing this next part here where I'm going to click create uh, Martianer here so that's created if I bring up um, the hyper shade you can see it's created that shader and it's applied it to here um, I'll make it real obvious by changing the color to hot pink um, so you know you can see it um, it's updated but if you do that drop down and it's not showing up um, it's because it hasn't actually selected the render man renderer that you want to use it hasn't selected either rays or res so um, so make sure you click that there as well um, and then we can just go ahead if I go bring render man back up and render and you can see the fur is working so if you just want to get to that basic point you can stop here and then you can go for your life if you want to see a couple more things on what you can do with the fur stick around I'm gonna keep going um, so the first thing you want to do is maybe get the density up don't go too too far too far too fast otherwise you might crash your Maya like I did real recently um, which is not unusual um, with all these 
um, parameters, you can actually switch them to sliders just by reset to sliders. You can also do something like rand, uh, let's say five column 10. Um, oh, don't want to save it, I want to accept it. And then if I update it, well, you'll see that that's way too long. Um, we might want to just change that to 0.5 and 1.0 maybe. Yeah, it's a bit better. So that gives it a little bit of randomness. Um, we can also apply a modifier. Just add some noise and give it magnitude of, that's not very long, so we'll just do that. Got it. it's made it all wavy. Actually, I might go 0.5. I just want to be a little bit. Uh, that's better. All right. Uh, update that. What else? Taper. So at the moment they're kind of square. So if we had some taper and we'll taper up to a point, see that? It's cool. Um, but they kind of look a bit spiky. So we want to change the width. Reset that slider and just make it point. 025 maybe it might be a bit thin uh, let's go up to 0.1 update that yeah maybe it's point, a bit too 0.05 how about that meet me halfway yeah that looks good there you go very light covering of fur um actually i might even just make it a little bit longer just use a slider slide that up um to four, it's pretty long, I think. No, oh. uh, 1.0 is not bad. Oh, two, mm, 1.5. So obviously, you can have tons of fun with this. Sometimes it'll clip if it's out of the out of the shot. So you just need to hit the reset again, and it'll bring it up. Um, and it's still got the random waviness in there. So now if we do another render, back up render man. Let's see that the fur has in fact changed. Now it's thinner. Um, you can change the density um, as well to get it even more dense than what it is. I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, so I'm just gonna add these bounds in so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so if we go to grooming, um, you can increase the density here. Now this starts to get real tough on your system. So you just want to make sure you take it a little bit slow um, and just increase the density a bit at a time. See, is that, you can see that's getting super dense. Um, so you can just see the, the guides there. And um, if you want to hide it, just press that button there and then you can press that button to bring it back up. So you can see he's going to be pretty furry now. Um, so we'll go back to render. Yeah, pretty furry. Um, and obviously you can do a whole bunch of other stuff in grooming. So this is like, if it's your first time doing any, any fur and render man, um, or in my rather, um, have a bit of a play cause there's a lot of stuff you can do and make your, make your characters look real good, real quick, um, with, you know, basic ease. And then you can get a little bit more in depth if you want. Um, but as you can see, just to like get my guy looking super furry straight off the bat. Um, it's pretty simple. I didn't even have to do much. That took me like 10 minutes um, at best from scratch. Um, and there's a couple other tools you can use in uh, the groomer. So you've got uh, probably the one you would use most is um, Orient. It's basically just going to, I'm just going to hide. So if I just want to like, you know, Orient is here or fur any particular way I can do that increase the magnitude to increase how strong that is. So if I just do half of his face, you'll see what it looks like. Update that. Make sure you update before you render, otherwise it won't show you anything that you've done. Here we go. So we'll do the render again.
And also this is a problem I'm having with RenderMan at the moment and Maya. Um, for some reason it keeps resetting my camera to the incorrect place. So I'm just going to give that a jiggle and then bring it back up and you can see. So zoom in on this face. Hopefully my computer doesn't spaz out. Yeah, it's getting pretty heavy at the moment. There we go. Obviously rendering fur takes a lot of CPU power. Um, so just be aware of that before you go crazy. If you don't have a very strong processor, um, it can take a long time, but you can see that I've groomed that real quickly and yeah. So there's a lot of other things you can do um, if you've never used XGen before. Um, there's a lot of tutorials out there on the internet. You can just use those as they are standard um, for using RenderMan and Maya. Uh, sorry, RenderMan and um, Mental Ray. So if you've done this in Mental Ray before, then you already know how to do this. Um, but the ones that are done in Mental Ray apply to RenderMan as well. So I really hope this has helped someone out and saved them five hours because, man, I could have used this tutorial on Wednesday night when my keyboard was getting snapped in half. So yeah, thanks uh, for watching. Um, click like so people can find this little tutorial if they're like you and me and have been searching for this answer. Um, otherwise, hopefully there's a bug fix coming out for this in the near future. Otherwise, just keep saving everything, all your projects to your desktop, I guess. Um, that works. Yeah, all right, cool. Thanks for watching.